baby girl is glowing yo hello guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl kama kawaida grace and if you're new here kindly hit the subscription button don't forget to subscribe like share comment join this amazing family we have so many things in store for you and in this vlog in this channel is all about positive vibes positivity yeah so guys as you can see i'm all glammed up and i couldn't just leave this look to go wasted i decided let me do a youtube video like it, it was just abrupt like never planned but anyway i'm just putting my lashes on and yeah i have no other makeup lashes and lip gloss so yeah so today we are doing a story time story time so okay that's the joy i could say this story on camera and tell you people but here it is so i really don't know uh which topic to give this story but well we'll figure out when, when we get there when you cross that bridge okay so this is it um like should i just start with a story or try and figure out a topic for it so that when i start a story you people can relate I love British English and I'm really really practicing to speak it and when I do ha, it will be over for you people so to look out in a photo shoot actually so uh, let me look for a heading okay I think to narrow it down we can just put like the ideal thing that was there like we nearly got raped that is it so I think that will be the heading of this video so uh, I don't, I don't remember the time it was but i think it was december right and then we were at home i'm about to pour you tea like kindly just sit down relax get your snacks get your drink and listen to this story so i know you like udaku so um get all your things you need and just relax so here the story goes like this um was around like that period we were at home i think yeah we were at home and then i was with my friends we were three friends okay we were three my two friends uh, let's give them which name so we were with my friends and uh, let me just give them names friend x and friend a so uh friend a was my close friend and she was like grace are you around uh okay she had a camera like she, she used to take pictures nini nini so she had a come so I can you be a, are you home uh, we can go there is some place there okay in it was sewage for those who are, in, who are from Busia know that place okay let me tell um, let me just explain <laughs> okay it's certainly sewage sewage nanuka no like that place in a car in a car or she nivi as in a maji yo maji like hainuki like si chafu like okay ni chafu yes but i don't know how to explain this but it's really a good place people go okay people go there on a bigger picture people having weddings when they uko aki don't judge our our town you know that town is so big you just we just one call away to uganda and your out country so uh, i love my place who is the best and yeah so that place I, I really don't know how to give you people that picture of that place but it's a nice place though the water is nisi yes but ikona scenery spoa you know yeah enough of that i, I hope you get it if you don't get it forget about it so to <laughs> kind because people go there bigger person stuff as i said to akanembea twende so we were going and yeah it was very it, it took us a very long time because initially we used to go there when we were in high school primary like the last time we went there i think we were in high school and you know that time so to kind of up that day to watch my bigger story saying those memories like you remember to keep joko the last time we were in high school and having our katululu <laughs> and then we were in the you don't even have earphones make the music matembea excuse the music like 
or just seeing all those memories nini nini having fun taking pictures on the way yeah making stories so see we reached there yeah so we started taking pictures with the camera and like we went there around six so people are still around there were some kids uh, riding bicycle nini nini so si tuka, tuka nini tuka piganga picha we were just enjoying the place the breeze so uh time went so fast we didn't even realize that it was getting late so si tukupiga picha although kulikuwa kushanza ku get dark you know it was around 6 foot 6 foot hapo 650 almost 7 so we never realized that uh, people had already gone kabisa and we never knew so this is it <laughs> we gave a picture we saw around seven men seven men coming already well fika. you see already well shot fikia and then the camera was there and all those things the camera our phones the chini smartphone so these are the side kuna maji that series i'm telling you about yes it's dirty but hainuki and that's why people are there anyway so kando kuna maji these are the side pe kuna maji and then kuna path those people wana tembea wa kitu kujia huh. i tell you like we really we literally didn't know what to do because because washafika there are seven people like we just can't run like no water like when we <laughs> even you know so we couldn't run because to get kimbia on get quite suspicious no guys up to kimbia so we're just playing cool like to not trying to jog go part talking to them and then we just plan on, on our way to escape so i got to do and then i was like i was telling my friend hey ebo now to get funny nini crazy so i was like we so like evil to know get pole pole and was his key as in then we don't want to show any reaction and then waka kuja waka nsa kutombi ati so say ni poa ati mna kafiti so ma thank you ati alafu the thing is wal kuwa melewa sijua mevita banki or something they are not just sober so ati wu mna kafiti waka nsa kujichaguli ya kila mtu ati ya minataka wu minataka wu minataka wu and makila Around seven, seven or five, I sit kwa tatu. So kila mtu mina taka wu, mina taka wu, mina taka wu. So there was mkuba wao, hata was like big bodied, hindo alikuwa naka, the lead of the group. So alikuwa like, mina taka wu yu, so that is me, mina taka wu yu. And come, so it go like, to go test. And then when we, when we saw them coming kabisa, like, me I was, nilikuwa uko karibu na izo simu. I picked the phones and the camera, Kimpango. <laughs> yeah, so to Mishkilevi Simu, we're afraid one is a Chukwa Simu. So I can't come close and like, Mina Sakatu, you mean a Chukwa, you are so wow. I mean, sis, Namimi, and Okanza Kutushikam Kono, you guys. <laughs> so I can't talk to Shikam Kono. Oh, I mean, sis, two minutes ago, you so my friend was like, Gracie Kununa Mjua. So I'm like, no, Missy Mjui. So ile unamwambia relaxed mwacho kutushika tunaongelesha tu vizuri and then tunamwambia hivyo tuki move backwards like you don't know even where you are going like you just can't look like relax and you're moving backwards relax we're just talking to you people vizuri mtuache tuonge tu vizuri we make this deal vizuri like playing cool and was since anything then once a two meals or something so uh-huh where well, i can never forget that day kwanza let me tell you so wakanza kwa violent at you so wakanza kutishika kwa nkuvu gewe likuwa meni kwa milia my heart is beating siji wata nifanyia nini kuna maji kuna so wakanza kwa violent then i'm like na na i'm asking my friend satu fanyia nini like satu fanyia nini kuse matu relax come back guys hey so you I'm already tensed. I'm freaking out, you guys. So, it was so intense. We can't go too far, Ivo. I to make steps backwards, and then, eh, come be my friend. And then my friend was like, "To Kimbie, ha, to Kimbie." So we can't Zambia, my guys. To we learn Zambia, and then, 
Well, I think that day ni mungu tu tukaanza mbio. Tukakimbia tukakimbia so my friend I alikuwa mbele alikuwa na mbio. Hey. And then me nikwa katikati and then uh, friend X al friend okay, even forgot those initial friend X alikuwa nyuma. So unakimbia but you just feel something in a kuvuruta nyuma like you're not moving, you're not moving and then magoti imechoka like hey tukakimbia tukakimbia because we are running to fike kwa barabara penye watu wako ndo these people stop following us. Some kids are seven men. Wana kimbia wana tufuata bado. So umeishiwa nguvu at some point <laughs> at some point ndishiwa nguvu like nilikuwa niende hivi kuanguka. Na ukianguka you are done. Ukianguka umechukuliwa and my other friends are watakungoje because everyone was fighting for their life. So, hey, tukakangana tukakangana tukakimbia tukafika kwa barabara. So tukapata ni it was around 7. Tukapata kibanda kingine hapo. Sasa tukamwambia mama um, kuna watu wanatufuata sio tuna hema tuko afraid kuna watu wanatufuata sijui sijui wako ni vijana wa nini nini tuko na retire hiyo story and then huyo mama alikuwa like kulikuwa na hiyo kibanda and then people of course walikuwa hapo they weren't buying so akatuambia guy huku huku sikuizi watakangi watu usiku hata you people are just lucky because those men wana kuanga hapo they rape girls na wanawarusha kwa maji na wanachukua vitu zao dilisha so my guy mungu asante because we like they were just close to us and my queue we bargained with them like kuongea to playing cool for around 5 minutes yenye ingekuwa wanataka and then th- that mama told us that ingekuwa wanataka tu kuwafanyia anything bad to a rape and like they do rape people and kill them and wanawarusha kwa maji so I watu ungekuwa unataka kuwafanyia hivyo ungewafanyia cause that's what they do because as we even thought kama uko unataka kutufanyia hivyo ungetufanyia because tuliongea nao around 5 minutes hapo bargaining like playing cool like we are talking to them you know so ilikuwa tu mongo because 5 minutes mtu angetufanyia hizo vitu zote guy so kwa oh, maka tambaye jibu meponyoka tu and then so to my hema tunasema kai mungu asante and then kuangalia hivi you guys wanakuja bado imagine wanatufuta hadi kwa watu so kuangalia hivi tuko na wengine wanaruka hivi fence ha mbio tena my guys mbio <laughs> mbio tena this is a true story even my friend will confess mbio tena tukaanza mbio imagine the audacity like tuko kwa watu na bado wanatufuta So tukaanza mbio tukakimbia like we don't know where we are going we just have to save our life. So tukakimbia tukakimbia tukapata nyumba nyingine hapo and then kulikuwa na hiyo nyumba haikuwa na gate so tukaingia hapo ndani and then kulikuwa na main house and another one nyingine hapo ya jikoni ilikuwa kinda jikoni. So tukaongea na mama sio tuna hema. Akima de tusaidie tu tujifiche kwa hiyo nyumba yako because there's some people following us. Eh, so oh mama katuambia tuingie kwa hiyo jikoni. Tukaingia hapo tukakaa. Tukakaa for some time like just giving them time waende you get. So we were there. Nika tukaka tumeka tumetulia and then you still like your heart is still beating kuhema kukimbia hiyo. So tukakaa hapo for around 5 minutes or 10 minutes so my friend akatoka nje kuangalia if they're still around mimi hata sikutaka kutoka hapo <laughs> akatuambia aka ti ah kuje ni 20 tupande boda au shine the vibe akipana tungoje hata basi minutes me i was not I, i didn't want to get out of there hey mi 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 na kwanga moga number one so akasema hapana wa shaenda twende tupande boda kimi was so reluctant mi sikutaka akitungoje tu hapana we go tukaenda tuka nini kwa barabara sio naogopa hata wanaweza tokea somewhere like tuka tukasimamisha boda upoda kaenda really so tukapata boda mwingine akatubeba we are three tumengangana tukae kwa hiyo boda moja and then uh u, tulikuwa tumeva jacket so we change our jackets inside out ndo wasituone because tukizaenda kwa boda hata wanaweza fota boda those guys so tuka change outfits zetu wasituone and then that boda boda guy wanted to follow the same route to kwa tumetokea and then, ah, just follow this other route tutakulipa baba no <laughs> no tufate tu huko si tukaenda tukafika tukafika tukachoa somewhere in the so hapo ndo kila mtu alikuwa na 
hakisha tuka hapo aende kwao wewe mimi hata nilikupa kutembea miguzi imeisha nguvu like uh, literally I was half dead I was half dead wewe kufika my friend is like hey sio ni simu sio ni simu yangu so tumwambia hebu check vizuri because we could not go back there like mm mm yeye yeah, angeenda tu peke yake because that was narrow escape from death and all that visanga i just can't like from that day i really thank god and i think from that day it was saved because we kasi mungu sijui so she was like i can't find my phone so we are there looking for the phone and at the back of the mind we we can't go back there today like that day maybe the next day to look for the phone so tukatafuta luckily we got the phone and what work in makwao so and i was afraid nikifika home mama taniliza unatoka wapi because home the time you like the latest time you are in the house is at 6 past eh my mom my mom is so strict and she always say no msichana affect tembe usiku mtu sema <laughs> ngamtoto msichana affect tembe usiku so samoja is late to her so kufika I was so afraid mimi mwenyewe nime tense hata hata mtu akiniangalia sizi danganya like I'm, I'm just nime tense yenyewe unazisema tu so hata sizi danganya nilikuwa wapi so I was just praying I don't find her in the house nikaenda nikapata and nikapata my cousin ndo alikuwa nikaenda tu nikafungua room my room nika lock nika nika lala tu kidogo like five minutes I was having a very bad headache and that trauma like that night uh, by the way my mom came and uh, that day is when i understood when i am saying mtoto msichana affect tembe usiku that day i respected nearly respect hiyo kenye wana niambia and you guys me usiku say in pata enjoy because na ugopa giza that experience no so that day kulala i was just seeing those people in my eyes like niko tu naona wanakuja kunichukua that really traumatized my mind for around days until i got over it like i was just even afraid even the next day to walk in town like like i was afraid like niza kutana na hawa and then they're like no msichana and then somewhere they when he take me i was okay. <coughs> i was really afraid those days like it really damaged my mind for some time but luckily we thank god that we were safe and hey, that was my worst worst experience and that's how i escaped death and rape and oh my god so you guys stembe usiku if you're from that place so you know that place is not safe at night and yeah because kitambo kulikwanga na soja hapo so as we thought ah it's safe nini nini but we baby girl don't walk don't walk at night and yeah. and then the trauma was all about like uh having to meet these guys and then uh the nini venye tuliambiwa ati they do rape girls okay firstly wange 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 tunyanganya simu what to rape okay what to rape what to rush ko sewage me i just thank god because like you and ilikuwa yatusumbua so much and we really ex- escaped that and him go to you guys <laughs> because me me it could be dead meat dead meat like so you got up at leo i just thank god because we dead meat for sure yeah so that's what we had to go through but yeah so yeah that was my story for today and i hope you enjoyed the story and learn something one or two and yeah and you guys please just pray because this god we are serving he so marvelous he does wonders so that was my story for today hope you enjoyed and make sure you hit the subscription button like this video go like my previous video um, turning my chair into a as in chair turning my plastic chair into a as in chair make sure you go like that video show some love um like share comment yeah till next time bye love you